Welcome back DigiDs and thank you for checking out the channel and if you're new here feel free to hit that subscribe button but today we're taking a look at a bit, bit of a different kind of game that we have. It's something called Shotgun King the Final Checkmate. It's a bit of like a deck builder roguelike all in the style of chess but with a shotgun. Like have you ever thought what could make chess better like oh maybe chess 2.0 maybe more pieces the double rook the triple queen but no just give the king a good old shotgun. But you know what, it's a bit hard to explain without just seeing how it actually plays. And you know, it's been fun with this new computer going through and playing all my old games again that I've lost all my save data for. And really just, it almost feels like a first playthrough for me. Even though I have played some of these before, it's just new and exciting to see that I have nothing saved up every time I load in. It's just like, oh, it's like almost as though I haven't played it yet. So, you know, it's been really like fun and exciting for me to really just you know, get back into it. So, but let's take a look and see what's going on. Rank one, no modifiers, standard stats. You got a fire port, firepower of four, two shots in the magazine. What is that? And six in the reserve. The Black King had been an extravagant and unpleasant ruler. As the years went by, more and more of his subjects were won over by the White King, who had offered higher wages and generally just decent work. And then they took his castle, his knights resigned from his service, even his wife, the queen, abandoned him. Before leaving, the last black bishop came to the black king and told him, Thou hast been a bad king, yet thine reign, reign <laughs> is still holy. Thou shalt retain a claim over thine forever subject souls, and we may have yet cause to fear thine wrath. Thus heed my warning. The wrath of a man, as godly as thee be, is ever his undoing. My, that is a mouthful to try to pronounce and make sure I am reading correctly. <laughs> but the Black King was abandoned by all. With not a rook left to his name, all he had was his prized royal shotgun. The shreds of his dignity and the growing fires of the prophesied wrath. Ever my undoing, was it? Undone! Just what more exactly could I lose? In his dark folly, the king loaded the shotgun and went to meet his final checkmate. Ah, they did the thing. They set the title. Shotgun King, the final checkmate. And this is what we have to work with. So we got to have our main dude down here. You know, the Black King, the Shotgun King. And what we have is just a good old chessboard. But they're kind of see how it's out of our range. You got this big firing arc. The further you aim out, the more it's going to spread. So you got to kind of get closer. But right now, I don't have a whole lot of movement. I can move one at a time. Get a little bit closer. Now, if you know anything about chess, it still follows all the same rules. The bishop can do diagonals. The pawns can move two forward, I think, initially, or one. The knight has to work in L's. And, but right now, I work in range and buckshot. <laughs> and just like that in a single shot, it's a little bit, it can be a little bit luck based on where your shots landed. Because I fired that generally more or less in the middle. Most of my bullets hit the knight, but only one hit the pawn. But the knight only had three health. As we can see over here on the left hand side, oh, I scroll off. But on the left hand side, the pawn starts with three health. The knight, I think, maybe only had three as well, because three hit him. The king, however, has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 health, and the bishop is working with 4. Now, as well, I killed the knight, and now I have his soul. I could use his soul to move like a knight and act like a knight. And now I just killed the bishop. Now I can move it. I can use that to move like a bishop. But I think I'm going to go ahead and save that one. Especially now that we know what we can do with him. But as you can see, I now have nothing in my magazine at the very top. I could move, and I'll get one back. But, let me just go over here. Oh, accidentally fire both my shots. Throw them at the king. Now, instead of moving, I could just press spacebar and just load what I have. Now, I don't think the king's going to live this next shot. Yeah. <laughs> And now that the round is over, we get these upgrade cards. We can see here something called Taunting Hop. Once per turn, you can jump over a nearby piece for one damage without ending the turn. Ooh, that's kind of nice. But every time I get a buff, they get a buff. 
This one says, add two bishops after 15 turns. Okay, so two more bishops come in. Now, the other choice is I could either... You can play an extra turn after using a soul card move, like the knight or the bishop that I have, especially like here on the right-hand side. I have a bishop soul, so I have to use one of those. So I can play an extra turn after doing that. But, saboteur, remove two pawns, and one bishop doubles fire arc for one bullet. Hmm... Well, considering I only have two bullets in the chamber, that's 50% of my shots that are not going to be hitting the way I want. So I think at this point, I'm going to kind of take the taunting hop. That seems like it might get useful to maybe get me out of some situations where I can jump over a pawn or another piece and then hide and not take, you know, you only have one life. If you accidentally put yourself in checkmate and die, that's it. The round's over. So I think two bishops come out after 15 turns won't be as much of a concern. I'll go ahead and choose this one. Now you can both see on the left and right side of what they are. You can just hover over them, I believe. Yep. And once per turn, you can jump over a nearby piece for one damage without ending the turn. Nice. So they stack up. They're not quite in range yet, so let's get a little bit closer. And will luck be with me? Nope. <laughs> However... Now, I need to make sure if this were, you know, I think I'll have to leave that for a later example because I was going to say that if I were to kill a piece, let's say there was a queen hiding right behind this pawn right here. And I accidentally killed this pawn right when the queen's about to move. She could come through and destroy me. Hopefully we don't get uh, to see a live example of that. But I have to keep note of where the bishop is because the bishop can do the same thing. I'm just going to stay my ground, land my shots, reload, can I get both pawns? I can! Alright, run away, every move gets me one ammo back. Ooh, you know, the bishops did come, like I said it would, but it's a little bit too late. See how far this run takes me, I don't think I have any specific build just yet with only one choice so far, but we'll see what we have now. Caltrop slows down white and black backup cards by 50%. So, this is a backup card. That would give it, like, what, 7 turns? So that would make it, t after 22 turns, they would arrive? Okay. Injured pieces lose 2 speed. Alright. However, add 1 knight every 10 turns. Okay, but add 1 knight every 10 turns... But, slows down their backup by 50%. That would make it 15 turns. Well, this better be something even better, because that sounds like, honestly, a god-tier card. Alright, so either that or I can have, you know, plus one firepower, shortage, remove one pawn, minus three ammo max, minus one grenade. You know, that sounds terrible. I'm gonna go ahead and take <laughs> the Caltrops in Military Academy. That sounds so good. So, slows down white and black backup pieces by 50%. Alright, yeah. And injure pieces lose two speed. So anyone that I've hurt before takes longer before they take their turn. Well, that's fantastic. I wonder if I can slow down a card then who is about to move. Um, well, let's test that out. So that pawn is about to move. Can I get a shot in? No, I missed. Can I get a shot in on this one? Oh, okay, that was important right there. I try to take my turn to shoot at the pawn. But it took away one of my shields because it was telling me that if I continue to try to do that, this bishop is going to kill me. So that just prevented my turn. So let's go ahead and get out of the way of that. But now I have nothing to test it on. Now we do. Alright, so... See which one lives. They're both about to move. No, okay, it did not take down their, like, current turn. But I think overall now it'll take longer. A little bit confused. I think that's what's going on here. I think that it'll still, next time it comes around, that it'll take longer for them to take their turn. Unless speed has to do with movement range, but I wouldn't think that's the same thing. Alright, yep, here comes the knight, so it's t turn 10? Yeah. Oh, down here at the very bottom, it was turn 15, and now, yeah, okay, makes sense. Wait, it's still a little bit too late. Yep. Oh, it updates the card. So now that I got that 50% increase over here, it even says it. After 22 turns, this one's after 15. Cool. Ooh, okay. 
So it looks like in either case, I have to take a white buff card that'll give them a queen. So let's take it what buffs I get. Once per turn, execute a piece with your blade without ending your turn. Okay, minus one firepower, but plus two blade. I can start running around with a sword? All right. Execute piece with your blade without ending your turn. Okay. So basically, if I'm like right next to like a really weak pawn or like someone who's been injured, I can just slice them up for two damage. Or... I get plus one move range. Okay, flip card if there's no knight on the board. Ooh, so I get more movement speed at the start of the round because there will be knights. But once I kill the knights, then I won't. Hmm. I kind of like the movement speed because that gets me closer to their front lines faster. Without That, that little reduces my speed. And then until I kill the last one... I can still just keep on moving at two, right? Yes, that's exactly how it works. All right, well, let's lay out some shots. Dang, those all missed. All right, so there's the queen that it was talking about. Hmm, I still want to... Oh. There's only one knight, so if I kill the knight now, it won't serve much of a purpose. All right. In neither case, I don't think they can still take me out. The knight can't get me in a big L. And the bishop moved there for some reason. All right, let's just go for the queen. Oh, the bishop took the bullet. No. There we go. Take out the queen. Take out the knight. Now, I did move my mo lose my movement range. However, it's just pawns left at this point. Oh. Okay, I have to move to get back ammo. But I don't have to move to reload. Oh, there we go. That is not what I meant to do, though. <laughs> I meant to just shoot, but I accidentally jumped over him. Oh, boy. Where can I go? Let's... No, that'll put me in the way of the night. That'll put me in the way of the night. I'm going to have to move off to the edge. Oh, <laughs> with that big old arc, somehow all three shots landed right on the king. I'll take it. That is perfect. All right, what are we looking at here? Remove one bishop, add one queen after 15 turns. Ooh, but I get plus one blade, minus one range, minus two HP on the enemy king, though. Okay. Or, engrave scope. Right-click arc minus 45 angle and range plus one. Remove one pod, add one bishop. All right, minus one ammo max. Does that mean I get a sniper? I'm going to have to check this out. Let's take my two movement range. And said right click, right? I do get a sniper. Oh boy. But now... Oh, I'm in double check right there. Okay, let's move off to the side. But I lose the... I lose the ability. Okay, so I really have to be far away. Willing to use this scope. Alright. That certainly focus shot at it. That's that's for certain. No, I can't move there because that will... But the bishop's not moving yet. So does that still put me in check? I suppose it does. Let's move it out of the way of the queen. Oh, but now the knight's in the way. Yeah, let's take one step closer. Blast off the knight. And let's take a pop shot off at the queen. A little bit trapped here on this one, though. Um. So I go, that's right, but I can jump over without losing my turn, right? All right, perfect. Which means I can then use my night soul to still put me in <laughs> nowhere useful. Is that gonna work? No, the bip shows up in there. What can I do? The fact that I haven't lost yet means that there's a way out of this. Right? Can the pawn take me out? I don't know. It says that it can. This might be it. This might be a short run, but it's, this is kind of like a good first look coming back to it. So we'll see how it goes. I'm going to blast through my shield. 
it does say the pawn will take me out. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Um, this might be it already. I can't jump back over. I already did that once. I should have taken the blade. Well, well, I'm just gonna have to go. Wait a second. How many of you have been yelling at me that this is the last location to go? <laughs> the one spot I haven't looked at. Yes, I should be. I'm in the way of no one. I can blast out the queen. That's not over. We still got this, DigiDs. <laughs> oh, God. I, I wonder how many people are just sitting there like, no, please. You can still do this. Don't make a dumb move. <laughs> I'm glad I still saw that. I was just about to just click anywhere and be like, oh, it's over. I'd given up. All right, let's keep on moving. His backup is coming in. The knight still can't get me. Blast the king. Reload a shot. Oh, it already reloaded for moving. That's right. And take him out. There we go. <laughs> oh, boy. I need to be more careful about where I put myself. I really got myself cornered there so small fry harvest plus one ammo max that's kind of nice gain one ammo each time you kill a pawn Ooh, so you can really just obliterate the front lines then remove one wait what theocracy remove one king add one bishop bishop plus two hp win if all bishops are dead oh that's pretty interesting i've never seen that before okay Plus, and I and I also get a whole bunch of ammo every time I kill a pawn. Cool. Hmm. The piercing truth. Your bullets have a thirty percent chance to pierce through targets. Remove one bishop. Add one. Wait, cathedral. Remove one bishop. Add one rook. Non-rook pieces near a rook can't take more than one damage per turn. Ooh. So it's like a damage buff or like a damage reduction. Hmm. Non-rook pieces near a rook. That is a strong choice to be having. I think I kind of want to see how theocracy works. This might be the end of me because that means that bishops are going to have six health each. And there are three bishops, but then mo two more bishops come after 22 turns. So I have to kill the bishops fast. I'm going to have to go with this one because I might be able to blast through the pawn front line easily with that. Plus one ammo per pawn. <laughs> I need to get more pawns in front of them. I wonder if I can get any choices, like, luckily in the future to help me get rid of those. Oh, the... It's the art... I think the art looks a little bit different on the bishops, don't they? Oh, they have, like, uh, the little crosses above their head now. That's kind of neat. It's a nice touch of detail. Well... You know, uh, I might just be trapping myself again. I probably shouldn't. No, no. Let's be more careful about this. Let's move up one. Now I'm in the way of the night. Off to a terrible start. <laughs> and I'm suddenly trapped. Okay, so... Wow. That happened very quick. I can jump over enemies. Let's move down here. Dang, they just keep on cornering me, don't they? I'm not going to be able to kill that in one shot. Okay, so let's move here. Now I'm in the way of the knight. <laughs> oh, this is getting serious. Oh, what do I even do? Are there any locations there? Okay, now there definitely can't be a way that's safe. Because that's in the way of the bishop. That's in the way of the bishop. Queen, 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 bishop. Hmm. I think I'll just have to shoot the knight. I'm going to have to depend and see on if I shoot the knight or not. Yes! <laughs> it worked! Okay, I, I have a chance to escape this now. Where are you going, queen? I think I need to... Oh, that's in the way of the pawn. That's in the way... Oh, that bishop is in the way. I'm still trapped. I'm very bad at this. <laughs> I need to stop putting myself in situations where there might only be a single move out of this. 
So right now it is only this bishop that's going to be able to kill me. Correct. All right. Now there's... I think now this might be my final move. I have to take this out in a single shot. I don't think I have enough firepower to do this, do I? Firepower is only four. I can't do more than four. I can still jump over. No, because then I'll be in the way of that bishop. And then that pawn. Both pawns. Oh boy. <laughs> All right, final move. Nope, that's it. God, I hope there wasn't actually a way out of that and people are just yelling at me now, just trying to find out, like, how can they reach further through the screen to tell me how to win? But I cannot. <laughs> Game over. Try again. Maybe for next time. But you know what? That was a good first look at what a game is called. Shotgun King, the final checkmate. And again, it's a fun, it's a good deck builder roguelike, as, as you saw. It's very interesting, it's unique in its style, and I might come back and visit this in the future for whenever I'm just kind of in between of not trying to do exactly the same Halo Infinite content every day. Or, you know, as you've seen, I'm, I have a little bit of variety going on in Rocket League. I even have, like, Phasmophobia that I haven't gotten the chance to really play in other games such as that. Like, I play a lot of Deep Rock Galactic lately as well, so maybe look forward to some of those in the future. But for now... You'll have to just have to wait for the next video. So thank you for checking us out, and you have a good day, DigiDs.